The goal of this tutorial is to learn how to create wall sweep for a variety of uses, from adding wall skirting and wall cram molding to other types of decorative horizontal or vertical projections to a wall. Wall sweep can be added to a wall from 3D or elevation views. The most important need for wall sweep is the fact that it can be quantifiable, that is scheduled. Unlike modeling place sweep, this is helpful in BI modeling when getting information from your model. So let's get to it. So the first and most important step in creating wall sweep is creating the sweep profile as a family, then loading it into the project. Go to the file tab, then click new. Then click family. Then I'll select English metric because I work with metric units. In the window, select metric profile. Then click open. This is a template that allows us to draw the shape or profile of the sweep we want to create. The default active view is a reference level showing two reference planes intersecting with each other. Now on the properties palette, under order, select the profile usage field and click the drop down and change it from generic to wall sweep. This is because it directs the profile family specifically to wall sweep in the project file. This will be made clear as we go on in the video. Then click apply. Go to the create tab under line under the detail panel. Then select the rectangle tool under the draw panel in the contextual modify tab. From the intersection point of the reference plane, draw a rectangle. By starting with a simple shape, you can sketch any shape you want using the various draw tools. You can create an interesting shape like this for example. Confirm that the loop is closed and there is no intersection by selecting the trim extend to corner on the modify tab. And after this is done, click on the file tab and click save. Name the file new wall sweep. Then save. Then on the modify tab under the family editor panel, click on the load into project. This will take us back to the project file. Back to the project. On the architecture tab on the build panel, click the wall drop down button and select wall sweep. Then on the properties palette, click the edit type button. On the dialog box, Click duplicate and rename the new wall sweep to new wall sweep. <laughs> then click OK. On the type property dialog box under construction, select the profile field and click on the drop down button. Then find and select the profile family that we just loaded into the project. That is new wall sweep profile. The material of the sweep could be changed under materials and finishes. The setback and cut types could also be adjusted under constraints. In here we can see cut walls. If selected, it will remove part of the wall geometry where it intersects with the wall, especially when the wall sweep is embedded into the wall or offsetted into the wall. As for the cut by insert, when checked, it cuts the sweep only where it crosses an insert in the wall. It doesn't cut the entire sweep completely unless it's unchecked. Then the edges of the cut could even be adjusted with the use of grip tools that appear at those edges. 
then click ok on the placement panel of the modify tab you can also choose whether the sweep will be attached horizontally or vertically this only appears when you are applying the wall sweep click on the restart wall sweep tool immediately you place a wall sweep to finish creating current wall sweep and start placing another wall sweep pick surfaces or edges along the wall to add the wall sweep you can also add segments of the wall sweep onto new walls or remove existing segments from walls by selecting the wall sweep and clicking on the add or remove walls tools on the modify tab then clicking on the target walls this will either add new sweep or remove existing sweep along that specific wall if you are not satisfied with its positional placement you know on the wall you can modify the instance properties of the sweep like specify its level and offset from the level and offset from the wall as well so now i'll adjust the offset from level from 1700 millimeters to 2100 millimeters and i'll click apply you can see the difference in position of the wall sweep okay let's adjust our view here okay so the modify return suit is used to return the end of the wall sweep back towards the wall so i'll select this wall sweep then click on the modified returns tool then select the edge of the wall sweep Notice that the edge becomes closed as though it needs to continue along the wall edge. You can select the wall sweep with the you know, grip tool and adjust the closed wall edge to extend it. In the second part of this video, I'll be showing you how to add wall sweeps to wall types. This has a little advantage over adding the wall sweep segmentally, which is its application in the model. It will be integral to the wall, so you don't have to go through the stress of applying it meticulously, wall by wall. But its disadvantage to the first method is that the sweep cannot be adjusted independently of the wall it's attached to. So that is its own downside. But nonetheless, it's quite useful depending on the task at hand. So let me just show you how it's done. Alright? First, let's create a new wall or duplicate an existing one by clicking on the wall tool on the architecture tab. Click the edit type button on the properties palette. This will take us to the type properties dialog. On the type properties dialog, click duplicate and in the name dialog, impute new wall with wall sweep. Click OK. Then on the structure field under construction, click on the edit button. This will take you to the edit assembly dialog for wall type. On this dialog, you can modify the structural composition of the selected wall from the material to the thickness and even add more parts to the wall in question. In here, we can also add wall sweeps to the wall type. On the modify panel of this dialog here, you will notice that sweep and other tools here are all blurred out. This is because they are only functional on section previews only. So before making any modifications here, on the bottom left corner, click on preview. You will notice that it's on the floor plan mode. Click on the drop down on the view field. Change it to section. Notice that the tools are all clickable now. This is because it's now on section view. Click on sweep. A wall sweep dialog will appear. Click on add. On the field under the profile column, click the drop down and select the profile that was earlier created. Specify a material for the sweep by clicking the button with three dots under the material column. You can also specify the distance from either 
top or the base of the wall by selecting the base or top under the form column. We will raise our distance to 10 from base and leave orientation as it is. The side column specifies which side of the wall the soup will be attached to, whether it be the interior or the exterior side of the wall. If there is no need for an offset, or if there is need for an offset, this could also be specified. Check the box under the flip column to flip the sweep profile if necessary. And just as a regular wall sweep, select cut walls if you want the sweep to cut geometry out of the wall when it's offset or embedded into the wall. And like regular sweep, select cuttable if you want the sweep to be cut by wall openings like windows, doors or wall inserts. Click OK. On the preview, you can notice the changes that were made. Go ahead to click OK. Then on the type properties, also click OK to confirm your changes. So we can draw a wall to see the product of what we have been doing. As you can see, the wall sweep moves along with the wall. It has been added to the wall type. So if you look at this view here, you can see it's part of the wall itself. And if you try to edit it, it cannot be edited out of this wall. It moves along with the wall. Unlike this wall sweep here that was added to the wall, you can see it can move independently from the wall. Alright, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give us a like. And if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Not only that, also ring the bell so you don't miss any of our future tutorials. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.